Blake, thank you. Just hours ago, Peyton Ferris, the man accused of hitting and killing Hastings tow truck, tow truck driver Keegan Spencer last November, has pled no contest to a charge of moving violation causing death. Next month, he'll learn his sentence. 13 on your sides, Michael Joe joins us live in the newsroom. Michael, you were in court this morning for that plea hearing. What can you tell us? Adesha, that charge carries a year in jail and a $2,000 fine, but... After hearing conversations in the courtroom this morning between the judge and Ferris's attorney, there could be no jail time per the plea agreement. Now, Ferris is accused of hitting and killing Keegan Spencer on November 4th last year. Keegan was a tow truck driver and was stopped on the, stopped on the side of M6 near Caledonia when he was struck by a vehicle. According to his family, Keegan's tow truck lights were on at the time he was hit and he had his daughter in the cab of his truck as well. Miko Garrison and Matt Spencer, Keegan's parents, have been vocal about their misdemeanor, about the misdemeanor charge in the past, saying they wish Peyton Ferris would face a harsher penalty. Here's some of what his mother had to say this morning after the hearing. I decided our family has been subjected not just to a lifetime of grief, but we are in the public eye and grieving all at the same time with no privacy which I'm fine because it gets Keegan's story out there, but the fact is, is that he's been able to hide behind his lawyer and a judicial system that allows it to happen. Now, a no contest plea is when a defendant does not admit guilt and gives up the right to a trial. Peyton Ferris will be back in court on December 16 at 8.30 a.m. for his sentencing. Deja.